Uh, let's get a cold start on this thing. That was a good pop. Dang, this thing's gonna be so much fun. One of my biggest problems with the Toyota Supra is look how low this thing is to the ground. I feel like whenever I'm getting into the car, I have to fold myself like a pretzel. It's a downside, but for the price of these things and what they are, I could honestly see myself getting one of these. So let me know, comment down below if you think a Toyota Supra should be my first sports car that I get. Cause I think these things are really awesome. This one specifically, it used to have window tint as you can tell right there. And she sounds good. So let's take her for a spin and then we have a really cool car coming up. I'm excited for you guys to see it. It's way cooler than this car, depending on what you view is cooler, but I'm excited to show you guys. And before I show you guys that car, we obviously have to zoom a little bit in the Supra. Ooh, baby. Ooh, she sounds good. Ugh. Not quite as fast as our next car, but she zooms. She does have a little crackle to her, a little rumble. Um, and I really like that. It's subtle, sounds good, beautiful. One of my biggest pet peeves is that it's all black. I love the look of all black cars, but if you live in a place like Utah, you get rain at the most random times ever, and if it looks like I'm soaking wet, it's not because of the rain, it's because it's hot as balls today. I'm gonna show you guys the outside of the car a little bit because there are some pretty cool things to this car, um, but let's zoom. this thing so much I think I really want one of these things honestly they're not too expensive they're not too expensive they're definitely out of my budget but they're not too expensive we are going to show you the outside of the car real quick just a heads up she is pretty dirty so don't judge me it just rained here in Utah she still looks like a beauty and you just gotta love her now, as for the outside of the car, um, it is a black Toyota Supra, which I really like, and it's hard to see with the sun, but she has a lot of water spots on her. One of the cool things that I really like about this one specifically is that we have a carbon fiber roof. I don't know if you can see that that well. And then we also have a carbon fiber wing. Look how huge this thing is. So we're definitely stealing all the downforce from everyone around us. I think it looks really cool. You guys let me know. What you think about the wing. I don't know how I feel about folding into a pretzel to get into these cars, but I really do like the car themselves. I'm gonna go get some grub. I'll probably stop at Sam's Club because I really love their pizza and pretzels and ices. Um, very specific, but they're really good. It's cheap, yummy, and I'm hungry. Now that I'm not hangry anymore, we're gonna go back to work and we're gonna see um, the car that we've all been waiting for. It's actually in the background. Um, you guys didn't see that. So let's go back to work. So we finally made it back to the photo studio and we have our car that I've been really, really excited to take pictures of as well as drive around a little bit. These things are super fast. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I know I have really enjoyed it for what I've been doing, but with this car, we need to take some pictures of it to put online for our website. This car is for sale. If you'd like it, I will put the link down below. Before we take pictures, I am going to show you guys the car. And yes, today we are going to be taking pictures of a 2016 Nissan GTR. Now that I showed you guys what the car is, I have to actually do my job now and take pictures of the car. So we're gonna take pictures of the outside of the car and the inside of the car, and then we're gonna go have a little bit of fun and maybe see how fast this baby is. So let's take some pictures and then enjoy it. Actually, the power just shorted out in the photo booth, so our lights up here and those lights right there are not working, so we're gonna go reset the breaker and then we are going to take pictures. Ah. There she is. Good. Let's go get these photos out of the way. We're done with the pictures, so we're gonna go have some fun with this bad boy.
Alrighty, so right now we're just gonna get the, the fluids a little bit all like going through the car. Um, ooh, she sounds pretty good. But yeah, we're just gonna get her all warmed up, make sure the engine's good to go. I don't know how well you guys can hear that, but we're gonna crack the windows a little bit just for you guys. Um, so you can hear how this bad boy sounds. So, here we go. Ooh, oh baby, let's go! Dang, there is just something about GTRs that is so freaking awesome. Like these things just freaking zoom, they sound amazing, they stick to the road, like you can take turns so fast. These things are amazing, gosh. I think I definitely need to get one of these one day. Um, definitely not in my budget right now. Now we're gonna turn on all our all the different modes and, and just floor it. So let's, let's do this thing. So we're gonna turn that one on, that one on, that one on. And now we are ready to Go! Woo! Oh my goodness! Woo! This thing's ridiculous. I love, I love driving these things. This thing's so freaking cool. I think if I were to get a GTR, I'd want to get a newer one. I know so many people are, are big fans of the older ones. Um, I really like the R32 as well. I think practically, if I were to get a GTR, I would probably get the R35. Just listen to this thing. Like we're gonna drive like a little bit and then we're gonna let off and like just hear how how beautiful this thing sounds. So we're gonna go. Now I love the sound of this with like the little sh I do love the sound of the Supra that we were driving earlier. How it has that like little grumble and the pop. I'm really digging this GTR, it's really growing on me. So that being said. One thing that I definitely do love a lot more about the GTR over the Supra is the ride height. Like I feel like I don't have to fold myself like a pretzel when getting into the car. Maybe it's just because I'm a bigger dude, I need to lose a little bit of LBs. That'll change in the future, but as of right now, it is a lot easier to get in the Nissan GTR. Ooh, sounds so freaking good. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. I really do like the white too. I, I'm a big fan of the white. A lot easier to keep clean over the black Supra that we were driving earlier. This thing is just a freaking beast. I love how it looks. The sleek design. Guys, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Well guys, as always, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, and please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.